Greetings, traders. It's Tuesday. It's June 14, 2011. My name's Dez here at Brock Trade. This morning, pre market, we get some economic data. We have the PPI come in, increasing by 0.2% in May, which is the seventh straight increase. Retail sales dropping 0.2%, which is the first time in 11 months. Interesting to see. So we have PPI increasing, the retail sales decreasing. Tomorrow we have the big CPI pre-market. Be interesting to see how that comes out. And today, wow, the S and P, the Dow, Nasdaq, Russell's boom, big pop. Check this out: Dow up one percent, S and P up one point two six percent. NASDAQ up 1.5%, 2% plus on the Russell. The bank 1% VIX drops 6.4%. Gold and silver rally back, and we have the US dollar down ever so slightly. And crude oil up 2.2%. Transportation index doing fairly well here. And we do see a, um, a nice support here on the Dow. So it looks good here on the daily. On the daily, we're below all these moving averages. We started rolling here. We get a doji. We do get a pop. We hang up here. We do a touch and drop at the 11 EMA moving average. And we're, we were very extended to the downside on the daily, which showed us on the Central Oscillator MACD an oversold condition so it doesn't surprise me that we get a crossover here on the MACD line and the signal line with a nice positive tick on the histogram and there it is shown in the price action pull in some more data we remain in this big gigantic symmetrical triangle finding a little bit of support here and starting to head northbound but let me quickly show you the weekly chart and uh, we're getting a bounce here. So if you look at this, check this out. We have this big leg up, small leg down. Big leg up, bigger leg down, okay? Now, if you get the big leg down, you're looking for a small leg up. So what would be a small leg? Three to four bars heading up. So you get one, two, and three, somewhere right here, and then a drop, looking for the other long leg. If that happens, You'll have a shoulder, head, and shoulder. This is a trend reversal. It's a head and shoulder trend reversal. Very common. And if we do get that, we started diving back below the 1300 mark, and then we crack that, we're in a lot of trouble. The monthly chart is telling us we need to be very careful holding any long positions. I do see a chance for the next couple weeks to be bullish, but after that, we could have some problems. I know I'm really early here on predictions, but I want to be the first to let you know. Take care and share us with a friend.